Alright, what is up guys? It is um, EXP Bank with another video. We're going to be doing part 3 of Wildlands, the beta gameplay. Um, if you follow me on Twitch, you'll know that my past broadcasts, I use Twitch for live streaming as well. I Okay, here's, here's the deal about, you know, my Twitch and all that, okay? The Twitch and my YouTube are both the same thing. But I post on my YouTube... Like, I'll do glitches. I'll, I'll use YouTube for what YouTube basically is. And then I'm going to use Twitch for live streaming as well. But I do, since I already said this, I have to say this again. My Elgato doesn't record in 720p. Or, it, has, it doesn't record in 1080p. It records in 720p. And it's kind of broken, so I have to, like, fix it somehow. And the audio is messed up. It's not synced with the gameplay. So I could shoot my gun, and then two seconds later, you'll hear it in the clip. So it's kind of messed up. I'm trying to figure out how to do it. Um, now, my game just crashed and ruined my whole entire uh, broadcast. So, if you see that past broadcast, it's, I think it's like 17 minutes long. You can watch it if you want. It's basically the same thing I'm about to do now. But uh, it messed up and I couldn't go through. I'm splitting all the parts up. I'm pretty, I have, to, I have to say this all again, but all my clips are going to be sp uh, put into different parts. Like I said, when the game comes out, I'll be doing all full gameplay for the game. Uh, I'm going to be muting my mic and not talking that much just because there's background music. Or, uh, back, damn, background music. Background, uh, sound. Background sound. So I'm going to be my mic. There's, like, I have my fan on mic because it's very hot in my room. So this one, this part three is going to be basically kind of like a listening one. I guess if that makes sense. I mean, I'll talk sometimes, but not like that. What's this guy doing? Get in. But, um, because I notice I, like, you know, sniffle a lot and stuff, so I don't want to have that on, um, you know record that and stuff uh definitely uh like subscribe rate and comment on the video go ahead and share the video if you really enjoyed the video um i'll be trying to do i'm not see here's the problem what is this apparently huh yo it actually what oh okay whatever Hey, I'm not gonna argue. Apparently, it says we already completed the mission, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, see, I'm gonna meet my mic. I'll probably talk when we get to the mission, like on like how my strat's gonna be, I guess. But like during drive, but driving, so I'm not gonna be talking at all. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the uh, footage, and uh, thank you. And um, read the description if you get a chance. Like read the description if you get a chance. Um, so you can see how. Uh, just read the description if you get a chance. All right, well. Hope you guys enjoy the footage and thank you for watching. Hey, be honest. Y'all ever tried it? Tried what? You know. Okay, no. Of course not. Come on, man. Yeah, me neither. How about you? Coming up on a Toyo farm. Remember, a lot of these Sicarios are ex-military. ID your targets. If Amaru gets killed by a stray round, Operation Kingslayer will be dead in the water before it even starts. Let's go. Drone is airborne. Target marked. Keep an eye on your background. I'm spotting another tango. Tango marked, but he's got a civilian nearby. I got another. That's five. Okay, earlier when I said, uh, it said I completed the mission, I was wrong. This is the mission. So, yeah. Um, I think I thought it. I think another cool feature that they should add is tells you how many people you actually marked, so how many enemies there actually are. Not unless I'm missing it, but I'm pretty sure there ain't, so. Oops, no, I wanted that. Hostile down. 
No, I know last time I done this, I missed it. No. He better not alert him. Oh, thank God, dude. What a save. Alright, let me go for this guy out here. Good shot, good shot. No. Shit, he knows he's taking fire. That's a kill. Do they know? I think they know, right? Keep it quiet. They know we're here. Move up, move up. Hostile down. I actually like this better. That view. Alright, let's go to interrogate this guy. Or, uh, get him. Fly off. Are you Amaru? What's left of him anyway? Come on, I'm getting you out of here. This is where my game froze last time. Everybody hold up, we got hostiles in the There are a lot of lights and switches up here. Ready, call the shot. Ready, call the fire. Get me. I me. Where are you taking me? Back to your friends. Entonces Pacatari has made his deal with the malditos extranjeros, the young fool. Take it up with him, senor. Hold up, there's a weapons case here. Hopefully, get a good gun out of this. And M40A5. I wonder if that's better than the MSR. Let's see. Uh, handling is better, and noise reduction is better. But the damage is, there's more damage, and more range. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the uh, MSR. And for the TAR... Yeah, um... Gotta keep the TAR, because... That's the better gun at the moment. We got some more skills we can do right now. Ammo capacity. Uh, 
That's handy. Oh, that's all of that. I'm going to restock. <laughs> Sorry if I, uh, like, sniff a lot. It's because I have a cold. Right. Santa Blanca is not the most gracious of hosts. These Aucas, these demons, they had questioning me. Let us see. Their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not... Were not... Were their names Yuri and Polito? See, si. Yuri and Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval while Sueño questioned him. I want them bad. We only saw run-of-the-mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's got to know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock. All right, cool. We just completed that mission. Let me go ahead and check our map, see what is next. What's next? We'll just do this. Oh, is this the end? You can't do no more missions in the beta? Oh, I think this is the end of this. That's the end of that. You can't do no more missions. It says they're locked. Oh, wait. Unlock missions by investigating the question mark documents and doing already unlocked missions. Okay. How the hell do I do that? Unlimited location. Wait. So yeah, I don't really know. Um. <laughs> Back in this helicopter. That's the rundown on like Yuri and El Polito. Here's a video you guys can watch. There were four people in the room the night DEA agent Ricky Sandoval was murdered. El Sueño, the head of the Santa Blanca cartel, Ricky, and the last two were La Yuri and El Polito. Yuri and Polito met at a poor state-run hospital in Chiapas, where El Polito was doing his residency, and La Yuri worked as a nurse. It was love at first sight. From the first moment their eyes met, they were inseparable. A love like no other. One day, a Buchan named La Plaga walked into the ER, all shot up. It was touch and go for a while, but Yuri and Polito were able to save his life. La Plaga was grateful. He showered them with gifts, invitations to the most exclusive parties, even a new car. And after a while, La Plaga made Yuri and Polito the personal medical staff of the Santa Blanca cartel. But that wasn't their main job. See, Yuri and Polito know about the human body. They know how much pain a person can endure before he'll die. They know how to keep a person alive and awake so they can feel the pain. And most of all, they know how to inflict that pain. That's what they do in Itaqua province. When Santa Blanca captures someone that refuses to talk, La Yuri and El Polito make them talk. They break people. Like I said, 
There were four people in the room the night Ricky Sandoval was murdered. Sueño, Ricky, Yuri, and Polito. They kept Ricky alive while Sueño tortured him. Non-stop for 47 hours straight. They broke Ricky Sandoval. Then Sueño executed him. Well, that was crazy. Um, let's go. Guy in charge of security is El Muro, the wall. Personal bodyguard and childhood friend to El Sueño. El Muro's little brother is La Plaga. Nasty piece of shit. Very active on social media. Head Sicario for the cartel. The hunt starts now. If we want Sueño, we gotta work our way at the hierarchy. Oh, okay, nice. Destroyed my helicopter. I uh, wish I could reverse back time and keep that shit. I was retarded. But we're here at an unknown location, so I'll have to check this out. <laughs> GPS says the place is named Yo Bill. I don't see any signs of fighting. It's just a ghost town. I suppose. Aha, major intel. Here we go. Either the carts tell her the dogs chased everybody off. Damn, there ain't no car. Oh, here's a car. Hey, 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 stop there, guys. Stop. Are you staring at get out of the car, bud. Now, we'll make this harder than it has to be. Cartel commendation here. Nomad, I've got Pakatari on the line. Sounds like he needs our help. Put him through. Hold on, we just passed something that it looks like an ammo crate or something. There have been many losses to the cartel. Yeah, there's a blue thing right there. Oh, okay. Uh, good thing I have these fucking AIs with me, dude. How do I get ripped up? Why did he go after me? That's what I'm wondering. Can you hear me, Kumpa? Got your Lima Charlie. Hola, compadre. I have a problem in Itaqua. Bowman says you may be able to. Turn the corner. My people need help. Perfect. There have been many losses to the cartel, and the horrors inflicted by Yuri Polito have broken their spirit. The fires of revolution have almost gone out. Spare me the rhetoric, Katari. Just tell me what you need. There is a cartel supply convoy passing through the province soon. Capturing it would give my people much needed supplies and restore their morale. Can you do this? Consider it done. You think Santa Blanca gives out a lot of these? Are you taking orders from Pat Katari now? Katari needs this convoy. New mission, look at that. There we go. Holy shit. Yeah, okay, let's wait on that. Let's get this done first. Oh, what are you getting in? Oh shit, engage, engage. Engage, engage. Holy crap! That's one tango down. It's gonna blow. Holy shit. Oh dude, I thought that was a division like <gasps> My uh, the AIs, but I hope I hope they get them, dude. Oh, he's actually picking me up. Let's go, dude. These AIs are beast. Oh my god. Took you so long. Hold on. Got that shit, dude. Let's get back to it. Katari oh yeah. Uh, uh, it another one. Depends on us to get shit done. The more we can get out of Where? Got him. 
Good shooting. Let's clean up and move on. Hang on. Wait. One, two, three. Didn't I have four with me? Or am I in the fourth? Maybe I'm in the fourth. Says, I'm not gonna even deal with it, but I noticed like this place right here. I don't know what it's gonna do or what it is, but it's something. I might just keep going. Moving up on this unknown intelligence or something. Okay, I see a purple on the map. I think I'm gonna get out of here. Here is shooting, but group up, group up. Come on. Go. Copy that. Come on. All right, let's move up. Away with shit like this, we're never gonna turn this country around. Eyes on the target. Say the word, boss. Civilians in here. Watch your targets. Opening fire. That tank goes down. And there we go. There's that. I think that's all of them. Yes, it's all of them. Let's move up. Oh, 
These are civilians. We're gonna look around here for some intel. I think it's all civilians now, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. Let's move up though. Cool, now we got all these weapon cases. Can't wait to open those. Alright, let's move out. Okay, there's the enemies. Where exactly? Rebel prison. Here we go. Uh huh. Spotted one with submachine guns. I got a target carrying submachine guns. He makes five. Alright, well this guy seems to be moving up on us. Take him out. Check your targets. We got civilians all over the place. Hostile kill. Oh, we got a helicopter here too. Move up. <laughs> I think that's it. Uh, bust out these prisoners. Cartel antennas. Let's shut it down.
has some rebels trading shots with the cartel. We want to back him up. This document mentions a new Nidad captain who sends prisoners to Yuri and Polito for interrogations. He's got to know where our lovebirds are. He's sitting in the new Nidad firebase. That's where that guy was. Wait a second. One, two, three. Oh, that's all of them. One second, fellas. Let me check our uh, uptime on the Twitch right now. Give me a second. Bear with me. After this mission, I'm going to go ahead and uh, one second, one second. Okay, right after this mission, I'm going to go ahead and end it and start up part four. Because we've been up for an hour and something minutes. Right after I finish this mission right here. Oops. Now I just realized something, and I definitely want it. Remember earlier when I said there was a helicopter? Yeah, I'm gonna go back and grab a helicopter. Excuse me, excuse me. medically trained so you have to figure there are some pharmaceuticals at work to keep their victims awake but see back in the day the real torturers didn't need drugs to keep their victims awake so they're amateurs that's obvious from how few people survive their interrogations a real torturer a professional he or she is in control he or she understands what's needed yuri and polito are sloppy they get carried away they do it for the fun of it not because it's a job and not for the art so yes they're brutal not because they try to be. They're brutal because they're incompetent. <laughs> You've got a dark side hidden under that smile, don't you?
Ready? Fire, fire, fire. We'll go. Engaging hostiles. Lieutenant's running away. Heads up. We've got an Unidad convoy on the move. I've got eyes on multiple vehicles, including a combo truck. Let's get after it. The rebels are hurting for decent comms. We could loot the truck and share the love with the Qatari's people. Combo truck secure. We'll send the location of the radio gear to the rebels. Going on. Watch your fucking fire. Civilian down. That Qatari's got some brass ones. I'll give him... Wait. Shit balls. Go down. Pakatari's got some brass ones. I'll give him that. Give that fucker an inch and he'll take a mile. If he can get us to Yuri and Polito, it's worth it. Let's get it done. To the market, Jeeves. Here they come. What's Fire. the play, boss? Roger. Weapons free, weapons free. Got one. Give me one second, guys. This is a long mission.
Deja que un rayo transforme tu piel. Tatús en el rayo. Calidad, higiene y arte sobre la piel. Somos los verdaderos másteres del tatuaje mexicano y ya aterrizamos en Bolivia. Siente el rayo en tu piel. Esto es Radio Santa Blanca. DJ Perico here with the safety alert for all the sicarios out on the line. Wear a fucking condom. I don't care what you call it. Un gorrito, un globo, o globito, un casco, un forro, un coma, o un poncho. Wear the fucking thing. Wait, I know as well as you do, it don't feel the same. You ain't got to tell Perico that. But in some cartel control districts, sexually transmitted disease is up 85%. A lot of you pendejos out there are feeling the burn when you piss, ain't you? And I know you assholes are dipping your wicks in the same pot. Think about that. That clap Juan had, he gave it to Brenda, who gave it to Jorge, and to Gerardo, who went home and gave it to his wife, Karina. And now the product ain't moving because Karina found out Gerardo was cheating on her. The drone is up. Got eyes on the tango. He's got a lot of background. Roger, target acquired. Say the word. That tank goes down. We're good. We all in one piece? The only difference between Santa Blanca and Unidad are the fucking uniforms. Out of the car, now. Go make this harder than it has to be. Hold on. Dig in. The cartel's gonna hit this place hard once that transmission starts. I ask you, mis hermanos y hermanas, how long must we endure this? How long must we let them take our land? How long must we let them poison our children?
People of Bolivia, Pueblo, come together and stand up against the cartel's oh, tyranny. Don't let these Santa Blanca monsters take another one of us without repercussions. We have the power to stop them. Frag out. There you go, Mirna Culeros. Those Sicarios are fucking the hell out of that emitter. That emitter's taking too much damage. That emitter's Ooh, taking a lot of damage, man. Hola, mi gente. I need you to know that things seem the emitter's on its last leg. I'm not as bad as they seem under the heel of the cartel. While we still live, we can take back our land. Here. God, take slugs. back our freedoms. Take back nuestra patria. All we need to do is stand up against Santa Blanca and their drugs, their violence. People of Bolivia, Pueblo, come together and stand up. Gaping hostile. Yeah, okay. Nice, get blown up by a grenade. Am I up? Alright, I'm up. That goddamn emitter is taking a lot of damage. Sorry, got his message out. That should get his people stirred up. Cool. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay. Well, at least get the mission done. Alright, and this is gonna end for part three, if I'm right. This is gonna end part three. Part four will be <coughs> being brought up in a couple minutes, and then part four will be up, and we can leave off from there. So. Thank you guys for watching. Like, rate, and subscribe on the video. Comment in the comment section down below. Share the video if you did enjoy the video. Uh, subscribe if you're new. And that's about it. So this is it for part three. Thank you for watching. And part four will be up soon.